Hello, YouTube. What are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello, and welcome into my first session of Ghost of Tsushima New Game Plus. Uh, we did a live stream series of Ghost of Tsushima maybe a year ago, two years ago. God, I don't remember now. A while back, we did a live stream session of the full a full playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. And we also do it on our multiplayer gaming sessions uh, with the members-only co-op gaming sessions. We do Ghost of Tsushima every now and then. Uh, but this is my first run on New Game Plus. I'm excited because I would love to go into this game and just be able to stomp around like Godzilla, smashing weaker early game enemies with late game skills and stuff. I can't wait. I'm excited. Who do we have with us to enjoy it with us this evening? Webster Ross, first one in the chat. What's up, Ross? Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. What's up, Jared Bear? How you doing, man? Mega Man the Blue Lion right in there at the top, right on. And Will Giles. What's up, Will? How you doing, bud? Let's see. Nightbot is on the clock. Good job, Nightbot. Melissa S. is with us. Hey, y'all. Hello, Melissa. Stickman4131 is here. And Miranda Saturn has joined us as well. Welcome. Welcome in. And you're tired already. It's only Monday. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. Uh, I actually missed work today. I had to take a day off work. Uh, I, I had a, a doctor appointment scheduled, just routine, like hearing tests. Like I'm older. I've I've gone to a lot of heavy metal devil music concerts. Uh, I've been around a lot of firearms. Uh, I've worked in factories with really loud machinery and stuff. So I know that I actually do have some hearing loss. Uh, so I went and had a an actual hearing test done today. Uh, so that was scheduled. <clears throat> but fr Saturday night, Claire and I went to go out to the club for the evening. And uh, my fucking car wouldn't start, man. <clears throat> it's a 2015 Nissan Altima. It's a nice car. I take good care of it. It's nothing special, right? It's just a Nissan Altima. Um, but I, I take really good care of it. I keep it clean and everything. And I've this now makes the second mechanical failure in like the fucking God, nearly seven years I've been driving that car. I've been driving that. Yeah, about seven years I've been driving that car and I've only had to do two mechanical repairs on it uh but still it, it kind of surprised me it pissed me off you know when we were we were going to go out saturday night and the car wouldn't start so first thing monday morning i had to call a wrecker call a shop get the car towed to the shop uh and uh and i was like well shit i can't get to work you know i got i got too much shit going on uh so anyway wound up missing a whole day of work and i'm still fucking exhausted because it's been a busy damn day man i've been coordinating with the, the mechanic shop, the wrecker service, uh, the doctor's office, the ride service that I had to use to get to the doctor's office. It's, it's, it's been a busy fucking day, and I haven't really gotten anything done. Uh, now, the cool thing is, though, I now get to play some Ghost of Tsushima. I fucking love this game. I've actually missed playing this game. I'm really looking forward to tonight. What I was doing, uh, I was just kind of scrolling through just to see what I have available. Like, well, shit, what can I play tonight just to kill a few, you know, just to kill a few days before Dragon's Dogma 2 drops? Uh, what can I play? What can I play? Oh, well, there's always Ghost of Tsushima, but shit, I'm not very good at Ghost of Tsushima anymore. I haven't played it much. <gasps> new Game Plus. There we go. We'll just do New Game Plus so I can stomp around like Godzilla. That's what we're doing. <laughs> anyway, Nissans and Hondas are the best. Yeah, you kick the engine and drag them through the dirt. They still run. Fuck yeah, man. I, I, This little Nissan Altima is the most reliable car I've ever owned. Uh, I've had it paid off for two years, man. I, I haven't had a payment on this car in two years, and it still runs great. Like I said, this is the second, the, the total of two mechanical repairs I've had to do to it. Everything else has just been tires and brakes and you know oil changes and shit like that. Oh, Will, uh, this is the first game that you upgraded to PlayStation 5. Right on. Yeah, okay. Cool, man. <laughs> that hearing damage is God's punishment for listening to all that devil music. Yeah, you may be right. I mean, we, we were getting up to some some terrible things uh, before and after some of them concerts sometimes. So uh, lot, lots of sex, drugs, rock and roll. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the hearing test and speech therapy definitely overlap. Uh, no, not good results. I actually do have hearing loss. I am actually hearing impaired. Uh, like no bullshit. I, I am hearing impaired. Uh, <clears throat> but, um, heavy metal music top three right now. Right now I'm jamming the shit out of Lamb of God. Uh, Ginger, J-I-N-J-E-R, Ginger, and a band called Discarnate. D-Y-S-C-A-R-N-A-T-E. 
N A T E discarnate. Uh, that's my that's my top three right now. I've been just digging the shit out of them. Uh, discarnate I discovered recently, so I've been listening to a lot of that because I, I just found them recently. Um, but yeah, you know, I, after my cancer surgeries, I had to see a speech therapist for a while uh, because the 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 nerve damage from the surgery on this side of my neck, the nerve damage had caused my mouth to kind of pull up like this a little bit uh, sometimes. So I, I had to go to a speech therapist for a while to help me correct that. And uh, so there, there is definitely some overlap there. <clears throat> um, and we talked a little bit. Uh, uh, the audiologist had a, a badass fucking sound booth, like a studio quality sound booth, uh, like, a, you know, to, to qu- make everything quiet around you. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I was like, wow, I'm kind of excited to work in here. Can I like record some lines while I'm in here? <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and kick this off, man. I don't, I don't want to sit here on the start screen all day long. just clicking over to the PlayStation input right now and we're live okay are you sure you want to start a new game I'm fucking certain uh play the game again with all the techniques gear and vanity items obtained on a previous playthrough start immediately at the release to the open world to pursue new upgrades and vanity items difficulty is increased to provide a new challenge now I'm not necessarily looking for a new challenge man like I said the challenge level I wanted was stomp around like Godzilla smash in a city. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's see how stiff the difficulty increase is. Gomer Black Magic, konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Welcome in. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I actually looked at the hearing aids and I can't afford any of them. I, yeah, I, I can't afford any of them. Uh, they're not, not the shit you get from the doctor's office for sure. Uh, they said there's some over-the-counter type hearing aids you can look at that some of those are pretty good, which I may look into those in time. And, like, it's not a it's not a necessity. I'm not, like, you know, it's not so severe that she was like, dude, you need hearing aids. But it was like, yes, you would benefit from having hearing aids. I was like, oh, fuck, all right. Fear KW. Welcome in, Fear KW. That's a cool username. Uh, no, I don't want easy. That's, okay. Uh, medium unafraid of death who are brave enough to face the ultimate challenge nah that's not me (laughs) for players who want a well-rounded gameplay experience with a moderate challenge that's fair select an experience oh i see english dialogue with english subtitles actually i would really love japanese dialogue with english subtitles but we ran that on the first play through it and folks who speak japanese were like no dude that's terrible please turn that off because the dubbing is really bad uh and i was like oh Okay, well, I can't tell. I just wanted it to sound like a real samurai movie. University programs that may cover offer discounts. That's interesting. Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. Yeah, no, it's my my insurance doesn't cover uh, hearing aids at all. Um, what? I don't want either of those names. What? What was the Kage? was the the horse's name man that's kage i don't care what you want to call it whatever i'm not that big oh let's see will says oh, i shouldn't talk over much of this hang on we'll talk in a minute Damn, this game is beautiful. I've missed this game, dude. Oh, we got audio. There we go. Sorry, we had some uh, audio coming out of the speakers as well. Right. I know better. I'm sitting here waiting for the cutscene to end. I'm like, wow, this is so pretty. You're like, oh, yeah, we should be playing right now, huh? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lamb of God, Ginger, the excellent bands, man. Ah, oh, I didn't get to read that. Um, your grad program offered speech services for free to local community. That's cool. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. She uh, recommended uh, the 
the doctor recommended a couple of things I could look into. Uh, there's a couple of programs here in Colorado uh, that may may be able to help with stuff like that. Okay, so I haven't played in forever. I haven't played single player since we did our last live stream series of Iki Island. Um, <clears throat> I've only played the multiplayer mode and not very much of that. I'm saying we should go. The wind wants us to go this way. Let's, okay, let's pull the sword out. All right, let's see. No, no. You see, if you swipe right on the D on the D pad, or I'm sorry, on the touchpad, you swipe right on the touchpad in Days Gone. That's map. And like I wanted to bring up my map, I don't remember how to bring up. Ah, there we go. It's actually options button in this game. Okay. I don't remember how any of the menus work. Uh, Act one, rescue Lord Shimura. Guiding target. I don't even know what it's set to. Merchants. No, we don't necessarily need merchants set as our guiding wind target. Or anything I want. God bless. I don't remember how to set a fucking mission. There we go. Echoes between worlds. The warrior's code. And I can't change any of these, can I? Okay. Find Yuna, south of Ketchy Fishing Village. Show on map. Okay. Wait, I want to set that as my marker. This. There we go. And how do I remove this as my marker? Whatever. Let's go this way. Darien Star popping in and out. Oh, you got a sick kiddo. Oh, man. All right. We'll take care of that kiddo. That comes first. And Captain Caffeine. What's going on, Cap? How you doing, man? Welcome in, bud. Okay, let's see. Now, y'all are going to see me stumbling and looking like an idiot a whole bunch, but maybe I'll get it figured out in a minute or two. It has been a while since I played this. I love this game, though. Damn, I've missed this. Well, that's like something we can pick up, isn't it? You would, for making arrows. Okay. And this is where we're headed. This is the village we're looking for. Love this game. Yeah, photo, mo photo mode is so good in this game. Okay, we do have a bit of a jump. That's right. Okay. Crouch is... R3, we're going to be fucking that up a lot. I don't remember how to do uh, Eagle Vision. That's not it. That's not it. The hell are these guys yelling at? Setting fireworks on fire? Oh, let's do a standoff. Yeah, why not? Let's try a standoff. Oh, fuck this one all up. Hopefully it's easy since it's early game, guys. Yeah, just this one dude. game <laughs> i love this game yes please more of that all right now stances no that's not what we want stances i normally use this one the most is that yeah that's the one for for breaking shields and stuff yeah okay Firecrackers. Iron. Thank you. 
Turbish person Polota. Right, 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 right. Okay, this is sidestep. Twice is roll. Oh, yeah, you can't. Oh, shit. Perfect dodge. Let me practice my parries. There it is. Okay. Time. All right. Sticky bombs. See, I'm picking up all this stuff. I have no memory of how to use any of it. Okay, hang on. And we died. Uh, spend two results. Yeah, why not? Okay, but low health. How do we heal? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to heal. Down on the D pad. There we go. What'd you call me? Okay. There's that. And then we can heal and end suffering for a little bit of resolve boost there. There we go. Ooh, and kunai. I always forget about kunai. All right. So, oh, yeah. These are throwing items and ranged items, these are stances. Stances and thrown stuff. Ghost weapons. Okay, so we have smoke bombs, sticky bombs. I have kunai selected. Okay. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Just been a while since I played it. All right, let me catch up with the chat. <laughs> when you got the ability to challenge more enemies in the standoff, it's like, didn't even think about stealth anymore. Jen just says, challenge me. Fight me. Mm, the kid's upset because she wants to go to school, but you don't think she should. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Mega Man, that's cold, brother. That's cold. Before I end their suffering, I like to play the flute as they crawl towards my feet. And then I send them to the Ethernet plane forever. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, spitting tobacco on them as they're dying. Oh, my God. These action games scare me. <laughs> I love this game. I have really missed it. Be the first to admit I'm not any good at it anymore. It has been a long time since I played it. Uh, but I really enjoy it. While holding R, use blah to switch ghost weapons. Yup, yeah, we have kunai right now. I'm gonna keep forgetting to throw them, but we do have them. That was kind of like the running joke in my first playthrough of this. Folks were uh, constantly trying to remind me to use the kunai. It's like, oh yeah, kunai. Oh shit, I forgot. to you now are we we're not even in the right place are we i thought we were close at least oh 160 uh, how do you whistle for your horse is that it yeah that's the one. Oh, wrong button sorry horse you know. <laughs> oh darian star this game is incredible like, it's not even, like, you know how people do that thing of, oh, my God, you've got to play it. Or if it's, like, a good movie, oh, my God, you've got to see it. I, I'm not even doing that. I'm not like, oh, my God, you've got. But no, really, you've got to play it. This game's fucking great. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, Miranda Saturn, you remember that? Just use your fucking throwables, Rex. <laughs> you have throwables, man. Use them. <laughs> Oh, goodness. 
Sorry, it has actually been a long day. Jin, you found me. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. Yeah, but not only is it really good stories, but excellent graphics, excellent gameplay. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling to recall what my complaints were. Because, I mean, you know, you form an opinion of a game as you play it. You form an opinion. Uh, but I'm honestly struggling to recall any complaints that I had with this game. Uh, if there were any, there were not many. Uh, let's see. Just finished first playthrough of Fallout 4. Yeah, one of the endings. Yeah. Uh, Matt, try this game after you beat Days Gone again. Yeah, right? Well, that shouldn't take too long. Not yet, but I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find Reach and soon. overlook by the Mongols prison camp. All right. Certainly try. Yeah, I love Fallout 4. That's one of my favorites. After we save him. Did you do the thing of uh, making a buttload of industrial water purifiers so that you can... Uh, dominate the economy of the game what about you that's something i do a lot you know your first town that you get sanctuary you have uh if you build a settlement there you have that river that runs right outside of it and you can put like 20 of those industrial water purifiers down out there it'll give you so much that you're making a surplus of purified water and then you just barter with that you end up you end up cornering the entire economy of the game just by providing the wasteland with purified water <laughs> mostly here. you did right on right on <laughs> yeah that's the coolest trick in that game six thousand bottles put in your safe <laughs> yeah yeah uh, you did it right my uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions like you master a horse it's not days gone yeah what other complaints are there wait why did i what are we supposed to get off our horses did i just do something stupid i did something stupid are we supposed to? <laughs> you know what in the world are you doing, girl? <laughs> Did y'all see that shit? Hang on. Let me see if I can clip that real quick. Mm. That was funny. She just fucking fell on her face. She just did like like a Superman face plant or something. I don't know. No, end there and start about right there. Let's preview it. Ah, uh, it's too late. Hang on. There she is. Watch Yuna. <laughs> she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, good lord. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, monopolizing the currency of Fallout. Heck yeah, man. Oh, you stopped playing because you didn't want to choose the wrong faction and then started picking Brotherhood of Steel. Ended up with the Minutemen without even realizing it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I do have to say I wasn't like real satisfied with the endings in Fallout 4. For me, the what makes it great is just the gameplay itself. Like, the story's really not that good, I thought, but I uh, really enjoy the gameplay in that one. Oh, uh, here we go. This might... We're trying to reach an overlook. Maybe we can use this to get up to the top of this cliff here. So... Oh, yeah, I, kn I know how to do this. Let's just do it. Yeah, it's a little bit anticlimactic, yeah. <clears throat> But again, like with that one, it's it's the stories you make yourself uh, as you shape the world to suit your play style, really. Uh, this, that's the experience I had, at least. <clears throat> Building the settlements and cornering the monopoly or cornering the economy of the game. All that stuff. It's the little stories you make along the way that make it. Now, where the hell are we actually supposed to be? Yeah, this one. 
Okay, we're pretty close. Reach an overlook by the Mongol prison camp. And it's still further off that way. Well, shit, I thought we were closer to it. Okay, I recall now. Actually, it, as much... Overlooks the river. Okay, I see. As much as I love the the wind guiding the way, the guiding wind showing you the way, as much as I love that, I think it really is cool. Man, I remember saying many times I would kill for a fucking mini-map. Can I please just have an actual mini-map? I remember saying that several times. But I mean, if that's the biggest complaint you got, well, you don't have much, do you? Oh, yeah. What is, what is his name? Return to tail area? What do you mean return to tail area? I didn't know I was leaving tail area. Yeah, it's right there, man. I was headed toward the tail area. Ow. That... Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet. No, not yet. I was too busy falling off of cliffs and dying. Seven hundred... Oh, god dang it. It really started us all the way back. Okay. Maybe we just found another complaint. Uh, no, uh... Um... I've already forgotten what it is. Let's go, Nobu. I tried to pull the right trigger to accelerate like I was taking off on the, dif on the drifter bike. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. Oh, you went to defend the castle and didn't realize that means you picked the Minutemen. Yeah, right. my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against... Oh, Melissa S., you just turned your television on. Cool. Yeah, right on. Shit, watch it on all the devices. Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. <laughs> you don't share much about how you feel, do you? I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be well, easy. I mean, it's literally the samurai code, so... There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Okay. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. There's the camp. See. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. I actually don't see a Mongol camp. I don't know what you're talking about, guys. This way. Right here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. We need to reach Taka. Wow. Without it's all about the seeing what the game is trying to show you, huh? Approach. Hey, Zylock DNB. <laughs> yeah, master your emotions. Defenses and back are formidable. You could scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. Front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Ah, oh, shit. Thieves. What's wrong with that? Before the samurai. This island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same it's thing. It's a long day. But we have to fight back. 
promised my uncle I'd never break our cold. Then bend it. Now you promised your uncle you a lot of things. my family. And what's left of yours? Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait. 24 <laughs> hour shifts? Nah, I'm all right. Uh, I used to work 12 hour shifts at my own job, at my old job. That was the standard was 12 hour shifts. And of course, sometimes, you know, you, night shift would be shorthanded or whatever. And you have to work mandatory overtime and stay like four hours until night shift can get more people in. You end up getting a 16 hour day all the time. Because, I mean, like I said, we worked uh, 12 hour days anyway. Taka, he's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole, but it was. Yo, no, no, stealth. Can I have like power armor and missile launchers and shit? But going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back, any way we can. I don't remember how to do eagle vision. It seems like something we might need. Through here. Oh, I remember this. Jen's first assassination. I made a video of just this. They'll kill the prisoners. Because it was like, Jen has such a... I know, such a disgusted look on his face after he has to stealth kill this guy. Could not be stealthy in Fallout, yeah. Now, I will say Fallout 4 has an excellent uh, stealth archer, basically, your stealth sniper. Uh, it's just like Skyrim. In Skyrim, the stealth sniper is the deadliest character in the game. In Fallout 4, the stealth uh, stealth sniper, deadliest character in the game. Because uh, all you have to do is you you have yourself specked out so well that you can pick up enemies at literally near infinite distances with your uh, really high awareness and perception and stuff. And you uh, all you have to do is you walk around spamming the... Uh, the VATS button to pull up your targeting system. And if there's any enemies anywhere around you, it'll pick them up and you can just pop headshots on them. Uh, it's it's sick playing the stealth sniper in Fallout 4 if you've got them kitted out right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. What is it, Master? I can't think of the archer's name either right now. All right. Let's follow the tracks. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should <laughs> feed them to this bear as punishment. <laughs> we are not barbarians, Jin. The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we're getting closer. Stay ready, Jin. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps. We got him. Careful. He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the stone in the back! Rosakai! 
control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you. He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life. Nylon girl, welcome, welcome. You came in at the right time, didn't you? When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. I mean, it's easy to say that when you are in control of an empire, though. Uh, when you are literally fighting, like, guerrilla warfare, well, you don't really have the luxury of being a samurai. It's guerrilla warfare, man. That's... Kind of how it works. What's wrong? Let's find your brother. Oh, hey, Mike. What's up, man? Welcome. All your senses. Think and move like a thief. Does anybody remember how to use uh, Eagle Vision? Because I don't. Not that button. It's not that button. That one? Nope. It's not that one either. <laughs> we haven't even walked in yet. We're already spotted. They're like, dude, who's throwing kunai? What the fuck? button one of the thumbsticks maybe hey i'm not leaving the tail area man calm down i'm just looking for another way in gee uh, whatever man okay are you happy now we're back inside the area to get some tail uh we're back inside the tail area So I do have, that's the half bow, the long bow, and the blowgun. Have... Let's do that. Do we have any arrows with the blowgun, though? All I have is poison darts. I don't have any hallucination darts available. And then, oh, I don't have any arrows either, do I? Like, I don't have any arrows. Dang it, Junior. I don't have shit, do I? Got a couple of kunai I just wasted. Shank. When in doubt, shank him in the neck. Yeah, Cap, I know you play this every now and then, and you don't even, uh, you can't remember it either, yeah. Uh... Yep, used my throwable too soon. I had a negligent discharge, didn't I? I had a... Oh God, what do they call that? A minute man moment? Oh, I got some arrows. Neat. Which penetrate helmets. Imagine that. Now we can do ghost mode, I think it's called. Which I also forget to use all the time. Who was that? What's this guy? Ah, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing, did you?
cosmic tijolo. Passing play. I don't think this guy's going to make it, man. Yeah, I don't think he made it. You know, is that? No, not Taka. Oh, good. Oh, the prisoner in the cage? Okay. <laughs> Bad trigger discipline. <laughs> yeah, settings ought to show me how to bring it up. Yeah, there's got to be a tutorial or something, man. Uh, controls. Let's have a look at that. Hasib, I think I tried R3. No, for me, that's crouch. Yeah, this is R3. It's crouching. <clears throat> and left L3 is sprint. Press the touchpad. Ah, that's the one. T press the touchpad. That's the stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Melissa. There, a prisoner. Taka? Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. There's the other guy. Oh, he must be inside the tent. I see. Gotcha. Okay, and the other guy was around this side. Yep, right there. Oh, I could have got an assassinate from up there. Well, I totally want to do that. There we go. <laughs> I'll climb back up there just to get that. Oh, you saw it when I brought up the controls. <laughs> I missed it. Yeah. We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Regroup with Yuna outside the camp. So you keep pressing X to squeeze through those cracks and stuff, uh, because that's how you do it in The Last of Us 2. Are you with the Straw Hat Ronin? I was. <laughs> I was. But they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No. But the other Straw no. maybe. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi Grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Osmo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Taka, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Taka will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. But 
My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Lord Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. In his way, yeah. You love him. Just as you love your people. Just as I loved your mother. To them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. <laughs> Stop playing this because the day's gone, huh? Never went back to it. Oh, this game is incredible. Uh, I, I've honestly missed playing this. I've been looking forward to doing a new game plus. I've been looking for an excuse to do a new game plus for a while. Uh, now, unfortunately, this isn't going to be a full playthrough. Uh, we're probably just going to do like tonight and tomorrow night on this because next week starts Dragon's Dogma on... Uh, I think this Friday, Dragon's Dogma releases, but we'll be playing Days Gone on Friday. So what I'll do is I'll get it downloaded Friday, and then over the weekend I'll play it and, uh, you know, get my hands on it and uh, see what I think about it. And then Monday, next Monday, we'll start officially the uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 playthrough. So this is really just, just kind of doing this for fun to fill in some time. Uh, okay, one sec. I'm getting messages from my kiddo. She's not doing so hot herself here lately. Let me see what she's up to. All right, now what I wanted to do, I wanted to look at gear. And yeah, see, I haven't got anything equipped, so that's part of it. Uh, it just started me off with like the base, whatever stuff. Uh, what did I normally wear? I liked the big horny boy outfit. Yep, horny boy outfit. Um, I think we just wore like the ninja mask. It was just like, yeah, the thief's wrap, I think was the one I liked best. Yeah. Beeps wrap. And then, oh, good. It has the stuff set up. Okay. What were we actually wearing? The one that I think it was just the Sakai clan armor was the one I normally did. Because it was the uh, major increase to melee damage, massive increase to health, and you increase your uh, standoff streak by two. And will sometimes terrify enemies as well. I think that's the one I used most often. I know the ghost armor is really good if you're doing sneaky, sneaky stuff. Uh, and I know the traveler's attire is what opens the map up for you, right? Uh, traveling clears 30% more fog of war off the map. 
Uh, but the one I normally ran was the Sakai clan armor. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. And then go to charms. Oh, good. It does still recall what charms we used. It's good that the game remembers what charms I used because I don't remember what charms I used. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this one, parries, perfect parries, and perfect dodges are easier. Uh, if you revive in a fight, you come back at 50% health. Uh, reduce all damage by major amount health and melee damage. Increases your health and your melee damage by major amount. Uh, attacks have a 10% chance to deal double damage. And the ferocity, again, increase uh, melee damage. Okay, cool. Well, that works for me. Why not? Oh, excuse me. I do... I'm not sure which... Yeah, I don't remember which ones I used. Was it these with the little skulls on them? Yeah, I think it might have been these with the little skulls on them. Like, I really didn't get into the different customizations and different looks for the weapons and stuff. Y'all know me, I'm just not a cosmetics guy. I like this black and gold, though. Oh, that's what we currently have equipped, isn't it? No. This one. Let's try that. I like the black and gold. Oh, yeah, that looks good with the black and gold armor. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, my God, I don't remember any of the skills. Let's see. Nylon Girl started playing Ghost of Tsushima while waiting for the countdown to finish on the Days Gone Pre-order, okay. Uh, I did really enjoy what you played of it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. ADD brain, I hear you. Yeah, no shark bite decal on any of these, unfortunately, yeah. All right, let's just play. I mean, we've got... Got Jen suited up now. Properly suited up. And let's let's pick something to go do, shall we? Oh, this guy. Yeah, the archer. Ishikawa. Sensei Ishikawa. That's his name. That's the guy we couldn't remember his name earlier. Quickly, though. One of the things that I love about this game, one thing that they really got right, look well, I just chose a very poor example. I was going to say, look at Jen riding through the trees here. He will generally just kind of breeze past any of the trees. It's kind of natural. Like, he'll just breeze right past them, uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I wish they had done that kind of collision avoidance in Days Gone with the drifter bike, man. Critters, huh? Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Let's go find uh, Sensei Ishikawa. <laughs> Sassy Kawa, yeah, right? <laughs> Jin and Yuna. I mean, why not, right? See, just then, he kind of just clipped right through the tree. It didn't even, it wasn't a collision at all. Like, I pulled up short expecting to, like, tactical stop on a tree. Uh, but instead, uh, he just clipped right through it. Didn't even stop. I love that. One thing that I wished this game had, hang glider. 
I really, really wish this game had a hang glider. There's little spots like this right here. Sure would benefit from a hang glider, man. And then I think right after playing this, I don't remember if it was immediately after playing this or like shortly after playing this, we did Horizon Forbidden West, which had a hang glider. I was like, oh man, this is brilliant. Because I had played uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, on the Switch a while back. Hmm, excuse me. And I really got used to having the hang glider in that. And then, like, every open world game that I played after that was like, dude, this game needs a hang glider, man. All oh, open world games need a hang glider, man. Oh, we just, we just need it. Direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. Oh, yeah, shoot. I've kind of forgotten how the merchants work in this game. Let's have a look at the merchants. Ranged capacity upgrades, ammo and resources. Okay, let's, I think, I think we're pretty much maxed out on stuff. Let me see if I can just refill my, well, yeah, let me look at this. Yeah, and then see if we can buy some ammo. I'm sorry. I need more for that. Yeah, I'll bet you do. Um, okay. Let me see. Nah, we're going to move off. Don't have much money just yet. May I assist you, my lord? Just like a traveling merchant? Lord Sakai, you survived the invasion? So far. Have Rise of the Ronin. Yeah, Claire will be starting that the day that I start uh, I Dragon's Dogma 2, uh, 25th. If you wear it, they say a spirit will lead you to whatever you're looking for. Sounds like something. Oh, you're going to wait to watch Claire play that one because you don't want spoilers. Yeah, I hear you. But if it leads you to any flowers, that's fair. Bring them to me. That's one or thing that traders. we kind of struggle with that sometimes when we try to stream a new game that's just come out. We'll have people who decline to watch the streams just because they don't want spoilers. Oh, these are just like cosmetics and stuff, aren't they? Okay, never mind. Yes, like sometimes we'll get views because folks are like, ooh, it's this hot new game. I was really curious about that. Let's watch them play it. And then other folks are like, no, I'm going to play that and I don't want spoilers. So it's kind of a kind of a double edged sword sometimes. I'm looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. He did Where not. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. Okay. I don't trust this guy. Did the Sensei not fight at Komoda? No. He came to town for surprise the day before the invasion. Hardly spoke a word. But he's always been a private man. My lord. Mm -hmm. And what are we supposed to infer from that? What stories? They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> Not the ship, but he shot a pirate captain from the shore. Routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa. Well, you, you probably used to be. You know, he's, he's a little bit different these days, though. He's kind of a grumpy old man these days. The sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. That's nice. Can't do this alone. Wait a minute. We're not in the right outfit. Um, It's like being weird. It's like frozen up. I, I don't know what's going on here. Left. I 
what the monkey butt is going on? Like I've got a persistent center screen dot. You can tell I've got like a cursor in the center there. Oh, okay. It brain. It is telling me, no, just look around for Ishikawa's dojo. I thought the mission was run up there and go find it. No, the mission is look Thank you. for it. I'll okay, there we go. Now, why are we in the right stuff, dude? May I ask why the sensei left his post as archery master to clan Nagao? No one no. knows. You may not ask. Strange. Giving up service to a great lord for this. Mm -hmm. It's none of your business. Now, why am I in the wrong gear, man? Sensei Shikawa's dojo. There was a struggle here. Better look around. Mm -hmm. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. trail. <laughs> Don't move. Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. Mm. He's got them Deacon St. John Sakai, tracking skills, on. yeah. Which means I run around blindly until I stumble on stuff. I was on my way when bandits attacked. Don't do the tracking. Are you expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. Un until he is. I'm sorry you know. about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Mm. Try and keep up, Sakai. Yeah, Ishikawa's not being entirely honest there, is he? The tale of Sensei Ishikawa. He's got that small bow energy. Who else made it out of Komuda? No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? Hmm. From what clan? No clan. A peasant. Hmm. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai. Oh my. We'll see about that. The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Mm -hmm. Instead, you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. Oh, okay. Well, let's do a standoff. It's too late. Oh, no! <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I didn't have my dang it, I had a ghost skill ready and didn't use it. Uh uh. Gotta get them skills back. They fight like drunk Tanuki. <laughs> they fought well tanuki? enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. Mm-hmm, yeah, somebody snipes you or, you know, gives you a, a, you know, steps on your toe or something and like, oh, you lost ghost here. mode. Nah, it was my fault. I knew I had ghost mode up. I just forgot to use it. It's like kunai and ghost modes. I constantly forget to use them. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. One sec. I gotta blow my nose and open this window, man. <clears throat> okay. Back for now. I just sneezed. Now I know I'll have to blow my nose in a minute. It's coming. Blood, but not much. No one died. A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. Mm-hmm. Hey, see, he's not in the right mask either. Man, I had all that stuff set. Did I not do that correctly or whatever? Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. I fear the worst. Tomoe would never leave the quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Baking. Interrogation. Torture. Well, uh, you gotta head out. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Take care of that kiddo. Do what you can. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. I'm sure you will, anyway. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student. Where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. What'd you call me? The fort is nearby. Fort Nacho Mamo? What? I should have fought the Komura with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. Hmm. So with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Stop here. One sec. Let me blow my nose real quick. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. Try it out before we go into battle. Aim for that lamp closest to us. Just in time. Good. Now the one further down the road. On the left. Not bad. Oh, it looks like they've added hold I markers. Like side. holdover marks. How does it feel? Yeah, it okay. Made. It's got a little bit of a uh, lock on, too. Care of it. Let's go. Now, let's see. I do want to turn that off. I 
hate auto targeting. I can't have it. Target lock. That's probably not it though, because you do want to be able to talk. You do want to be able to lock on to specific enemies sometimes. That's not quite what I'm looking for. I don't remember how to turn that off in this game. Aim assist. Oh, see, aim assist is off. I figured it would have been turned off for my last playthrough, but uh, it was clearly uh, stickying to targets. I hate that shit. I find myself fighting with the targeting reticle. <laughs> that Days Gone Crossbow experience has helped, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's weird. All right. We'll see how it does in combat. But it was totally snapping two oh, targets. I don't combat. like that. It is a good bow. But victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Yeah, it's funny. They, uh, that Lies of P experience has helped. Uh, the Lies of P experience has helped to improve my melee game. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. We'll get a better look at the defenses from up there. You know, I was actually thinking that myself. Uh, this spot is perfect. I'll find a way in. Open the gate. Then we hit them. You always charge into battle <laughs> with your Hakama half tied? Well, I mean, I am a samurai. Patience, Sakai. The Mongols will send men to find their missing patrol. When they open the gates, we strike. The longer we delay, the longer Tomoe remains in danger. She can take care of herself. Survey the battlefield. I think he knows that she's not actually in danger. Hornet nests. Master Psycho, what's up, man? The Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. Those barrels could do some damage. We'll yeah, they can. Out. An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. When the gates open, distract the enemy and rain arrows on their heads. Then we storm the fort and free Tomoe. Good. Now we wait. They're opening the gates. Wait for my signal. Oh. I don't remember that detail. When your inventory is full, excess ammo is sent to your saddlebags. I don't recall that detail that you're still picking it up and just putting it in your saddlebags. I'll have to recall that. Or I'll have to, you know, remember to check that. Yeah, you just told me that. Like a dozen times now. Send them to their ancestors. Wow. That actually did pretty well, didn't it? Rid Fort Nakayama of Mongols. Mm, all right. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, God damn. Kage, calm down. Was supposed to be a exploding arrow. All right, I am seriously going to need this auto aim shit to stop. Uh, that's actually kind of pissing me off a little bit because we clearly have that turned off. Okay, 
I'm samurai. Let's go be a samurai. Okay. Let's see if we hit him. Where's that other one at? They're more inside. Not too long. Let's find some way. Kill me, got me. Your sky. There we go. Anybody else down here? Can we get up there with them? Haha! -ha. You guys thought you were safe, didn't you? Coming to get you. Oh, there was a chance to assassinate and I missed it. Dang. Not twice, dude. All right. Now what? Any more enemies down? I don't see any more enemies. Speak with Ishikawa. Steve Elliman, what's up, man? Killed with arrows. Tomoe. <coughs> Wait, this pendant belongs to her. Oh. Search the fort. Oh, yeah, you forget about the, the beehives and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remind myself to use that kind of stuff in this playthrough. Because I'm bad about forgetting it, too. Mm, here we go. These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn. And that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. <laughs> huh. Then they allowed her to use a bow. There we go. Needed that. Okay, I'd really like for that message to stop popping up. It's like, okay, I, I get it. You've, you've told me that a couple times now. Like, it's cool because I had forgotten about it. I'm glad you told me about it, but Archer, you only needed to tell me once. Translations. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. 
something inside here. But as soon as I step inside here, it disappears. Oh. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're investigating Fort Nakayama. Could you maybe be a little bit more specific? Like, I see something in this room right here, but there's... There's nothing here. What am I missing? Ah, there we go. Personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? Do you hear that? A survivor. Hey, where did you come from? We're looking for a woman, an archer. The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free, gave her armor and a bow. She killed my wife and the others. Mm. The bodies we found. She proved her skill to the enemy, and they recruited her. Please. It, it hurts. Don't leave me. I've seen enough. Let's go. I should have killed her. Sensei? The way won her freedom. And she joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Mm-hmm. Sensei! I love how Jin's first real question is, well, what are you hiding? There's more to this. What are you not telling me? I demand an answer. She attacked me. Not bandits. Tomoe. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. Yeah, that's, yeah, don't lie to me. I mean, I'll help you, dude. Just don't fucking lie to me. Teach my way of the bow to the enemy. And we will stop her. This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, mm. you need... <laughs> you don't get to touch my weapon, dude. Victory is won by I'll words. decide how to use my weapon. Not weapons. Hmm. Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together. But we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. I will prepare to hunt Tomoe. Yeah, Jim call, Jin calls him out. He, he catches it immediately like, there's something you're not telling me. Hey, what are you not telling me? And don't lie to me. If she's still alive, she's one of the finest warriors on the island. <laughs> oh, we just finished like our first real mission. <laughs> Jen's like, all right, all right, calm down. <laughs> Journal updated. Okay. So, Komoda Town. Oh yeah, this is how we go find uh, Lady Masako. Lady Masako Atachi. Now, how do you get on your horse again? Oh, there we go. Wait, what did it say? Uh... Was that withdraw ammo? Was that it? See, now it's disappeared. Was it down? No, that heals up. Left? No, that calls the horse. Up? Shit, I didn't catch it. Oh well. Well, we're on the fucking horse now. 
Yeah, I forgot how gorgeous this game is. I know, man, I know. Yeah. Love this game, dude. I should have done this a while back, actually. I've, I've been looking for an excuse to do a New Game Plus playthrough. And uh, unfortunately, we won't be finishing this playthrough on this live stream series. Uh, I just need to fill in two nights, Monday night, tonight, and Wednesday night. Uh, Friday, we'll do Days Gone. And then the following Monday, we're doing uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. So I just needed to fill in for tonight and tomorrow, and that's it. So I figured I would start a new game plus of Ghost of Tsushima. Something that's fun, but not terribly challenging because, you know, I'm already, I already know the game fairly well. And I've, you know, this character's already leveled up, leveled up pretty well. So, oh yeah, the photo mode in this game is in some ways better than Days Gone. In, in other ways, not, but in some ways it is better than Days Gone. I love in this one, you can change the weather. Hmm. Excuse me. You can change the weather. You can change the time, stuff like that. Run the clock forward. I love that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you're like a virtual photographer or you're into uh, photo mode in video games or just whatever, Ghost of Tsushima has a killer photo mode. Yoichi's Crossroads. We could do a standoff. Oh, Defeat the Mongols, kill somebody with a sticky bomb. I have sticky bombs, don't I? Don't I have sticky bombs? Here it is. These are sticky bombs. And then uh, it's a ghost weapon, so you would have to throw it with R1? I missed. Hmm. How do you throw... I mean, I threw it. I don't know how to target an enemy with it. What if I throw it at this guy? Okay, well, it's stuck to him. Yeah, I killed an enemy with a sticky bomb. Didn't mean to do that. Huge bitch budget. Huge bitch budget. This is how you equip your bow. That's right. Okay. Tell him stay back. Stay back, man. Stay back. There, I told him. What's it? <laughs> I see ghost dances ready again. I'm trying not to waste it this time. Yeah, yeah. Jim. We looked him in the eye with courage. And, and people who want to win, you know, I mean, there's... Oh, I forgot about that. I completely forgot. How do you kill or observe Mongol leaders in combat? How do you observe? I don't remember how to, like, observe the guy. I mean, I can just kill him, chop his head off. That's cool. 
but like observing observing them that's how you unlock new stances and stuff which i think i have all the stances unlocked so i don't really need to do that anyway nice. yeah mm. yeah okay because i was like standing right behind him <laughs> yeah Okay, I really need it to stop showing me that when your inventory is full, excess ammo is sent to your saddlebags. I'd really like for it to stop halting gameplay to show me that. What was that? No. Oh. Okay, so where are we headed? I'm just not quite there yet. Oh shit, we Hadachi Estate still 700 meters away. Okay. It might be. I was expecting it to show me a button popped or something. are mongols aren't they let's kill them too uh, let's just do a standoff challenge me now it's been a long time since i've done these i'm not very good at them anymore may fall to a uh, psych out you got who in here full. Excess ammo is sent to your saddlebags. Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. It's not that annoying. It is a little bit annoying, but it's not that annoying. Rex rant incoming. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Depends on how many more times that fucking message pops up. It's kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, maybe it's as I pick up new ammo types, each time I pick up a new ammo type, it's like, hey, this ammo type will also be in your saddlebags later. So maybe it'll stop after I've picked up like one of everything. Oh, it's gotta be this place. Jesus did. Lady Musical should be here. 
Lady Masako! Warriors of Clan Adachi! Is anyone here? No, but some of their blood is still on the ground. Remains of a battle. You kill him! Wait, what? Where's Lady Masako? Tell me where she is. Show mercy. There's mercy. Who are these men? Not Mongols. And not bandits. I need to find out what happened here. Someone forced their way in. Blood. Did anyone survive? A Naginata. Used by the women of Clan Adachi. They fought to defend their family. They were trying to escape. Pass the children through the window. If anyone survived, they may have fled on horseback. Better check the stables. Empty stables? Someone took the horses. Blood's dry. Horse tracks. Someone fled the estate. They left a trail. Footprints. The rider was being chased. Archers were hunting the rider. The rider was skilled, knew how to confuse their aim. A fallen horse. This horse belonged to Clan Adachi. Dead for days. John Sebastian, hello. It's me. Welcome in. Jin Sakai. They said no samurai escaped Komoda. Well, we're not, uh, not really 100% samurai anymore, are we? Lord Adachi died a warrior's death, defending our home. Small oh. consolation, that. Why have you come? The Mongol Khan has captured Lord Shimra. If your clan joins me, mm -hmm. we can save my uncle and avenge your men. Clan Adachi is dead. Massacred by our own people. Traitors. Why would they kill those who swore to protect them? I intend to find <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm coming with you. I do love no. her voice acting. Do not set aside your concerns for mine. The family of samurai are my concern. I know what it means to be the last of one's clan. I cannot be responsible for your death. You won't be. Ride with me. Yeah, the voice acting in general is phenomenal in this game, but I particularly like uh, how 
I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find the right words, but just how hard and uh, I fought men at your angry state. she is, you know. Finish what they started the night my husband and sons rode to face the Mongols. The assassins with just a touch of sadness, too. My sister took the children and fled. I stayed with my son's wives to fight our attackers. We were outnumbered. And then I was the only one left. That's how it ended for me at Komoda. For me. It wasn't over. It wasn't over there for her, was it? I buried them here. With the rest of our family. I tried to save them, but the assassins caught them on the road. Cut them down. My sister. My grandchildren. Even little Natsu. She was just born. All I could do was bury her with her mother. This never should have happened. My sister should have been buried with her husband in the north but at least she is with a family <laughs> come we ride for the golden temple Sorry you endured this alone. I am not alone. <laughs> the killers are alive. They will pay for what they did. Every moment the killers walk free brings me shame. You can't blame yourself. But it is my duty to punish them for it. Oh, this place is beautiful. You'll have to go in without me. Find the monk named Sogen and tell him the fate of Clan Adachi. What are you plotting, Lady Masako? Indulge a grieving widow. <laughs> Once you've <laughs> talked to Sogen, find the armorer. She is repairing something for me. I want you to have it. I will do that. Thank you. I will wait for you on the other side of the temple. Wrong button. Wrong button. Photo mode. There's the one. Can we do a grid? I don't remember how to add a grid. Can you add a grid in this one? Do not recall. Anyway. First photo mode shot of the game. Yeah. <laughs> I could do this all day, really. Lord Sakai. Hey, what's up, dog? Are you in charge here? I think of myself as more of a servant, my lord. Please, call me Junshin. I made this temple a haven for our people. I'll spread the word. If they cannot make the journey, there are also camps around Ariake. I supply them with all the food I can spare. That's good to know. I'm looking for one of your fellow monks, a man named Sogen. I believe he is sweeping the temple deck. Thank you, Junshin. Continue your good work. Or else. Lord Sakai! It's good to see you. Gonjiro, right? You served the Lord Nagao. He was a good man. I'm sorry we lost him. I'm honored you recall a humble household servant. So many of us here owe you our lives. I'm afraid the fight for our home is just beginning. 
That's why we want to help, my lord. People started donating what they could, and... Please, accept these gifts. Thank you, Bonjiro. Shit, yeah. Ain't gotta tell me twice. Who contributed. We'll keep donating what we can, here and elsewhere, as word of your victory spread. May the Kami keep you from harm. Yoink. Do you think we're safe here? I don't know. People have seen more. How is your armor fitting, my lord? Lady Masako sent me. Said you were repairing something she wanted me to have. The armor. It's one of the finest sets I've ever worked with. Let me get it. It suits you perfectly, my lord. <laughs> the quality is incomparable. It will serve you well. But if anything isn't to your liking, I can always make alterations. All I need are the right materials. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Can I have my armor back now? Because I was, I was, I was kind of wearing something. I was kind of wearing something that I wanted to wear. There we go. Stay strong. It has wounded as no Where is? Speak with the sweeping monk. Oh, okay. Back further, further back this way. Are you Sogen? I am. I am Sakai. A samurai. Alive? <laughs> I have a message from Lady Masako. Clan Adachi was attacked. She is the only survivor. The Mongols. Traitors. Our own people. How horrible. Has anyone suspicious passed through the temple? A group of armed men? <laughs> Not that I've seen, but my duties keep me far too busy. Please tell Lady Masako she's welcome to take refuge here. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Of course. I know. I know. Yeah. May I look after your bow, my lord? Wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. I can make sure your bow is in the best possible condition. Whatever you can do, I'd appreciate it. The honor is mine. Just bring me the raw materials I need and leave the rest to me. You lack the required materials. Very sorry. Oh yeah, it looks like I still had a few like late game upgrades. Thank you. That I had not unlocked yet. And we're supposed to meet her out the other side of the camp. But you're sure he was a samurai. Look like one to me. Could have been anybody. I've never told anyone this, but I almost died as a young boy. You got the armor. It fits well. It belonged to my eldest, Shigesato. It is an honor. I spoke to the monk. What did Sogen say? He offers you refuge in the temple. So my family's killers know where to find me. We need to move. You think Sogen is behind the massacre? He visited my home just before the assassins. The little bastard was their scout. That doesn't prove his guilt. No, but it earns my suspicion. Sogen arrived from Kami Agata at the beginning of autumn. When we first heard the Mongols plan to invade. The plot to destroy my clan took precision, planning. And a wall to cover the treachery. Where is that monk? 
There's Sogan, leaving in a hurry. Let's follow the wolf to his den. We can get down here. You sent me to frighten the monk. I knew he would panic, make a mistake. Now he's leading us to his friends. Stay close. We can't be seen. No, I'm not losing my target. I wonder if anyone saw me leave. Hide. Did he see us? I don't think so. He's moving again. Let's go. Short round, 007. What's up, man? Stickman, you've been more working than lurking, yeah? Oh, no, okay, we actually are. Oh, there he is. Let's get closer. This way. Go to the left side of the inn's entrance. Masako's alive. She has a samurai with her. Hmm. That must be who killed our men at the estate. You fools. Now they know I'm part of this. You have to find them. Keep your voice down. I'm going inside. Don't come back until they're dead. Those men slaughtered my family. Spare the monk. The rest can die. Draw your blades! <laughs> okay, let's do a standoff then. Show me the mic. What the? I have no idea what happened just then. Let's see, what is it? Kunai here. Hey, are y'all proud of me? I remember to throw some kunai. Uh, and then I died again anyway. You die here! So we went go. inside the inn. Let's go. I don't know where the fuck you think you're going. somebody doing the yeah uh, there's oh there's a guy right here 
Okay. I couldn't see him at first. I was like, where the fuck is that noise coming from? I know I hear somebody over here bleeding out that we can do an end suffering thing on them, but where is he? Yeah, nice recovery. We almost messed it up, didn't we? Yeah, it does help to just not get hit a lot, yeah. There's nowhere to run, Sogan. You destroyed Clan Adachi. I was only a messenger. For who? Mm -hmm. Knowledge does not end suffering. You know nothing of suffering. Masako. I buried my family, one by one. It took days. But I'm going to leave you for the wolves. We need him alive to tell us who he serves. Our world has changed. Men of vision must rise to mm -hmm. face it. And those in the way must be removed. They were children! <laughs> Masako! I think she lost her cool a little bit, man. He, he, he was never going to talk. We still need information. There has to be something we can use. Search outside. I'll deal with things in here. In other words, get the fuck out of here because you're kind of scaring me a little bit right now. They've run out of food. Must have been here a while. Hmm. Names. And a symbol. Alright. Masako might know them. Did you find anything? Yeah, I need you to go outside and take a smoke break and cool off. I found the same symbol on these men. I've never seen it before. A rival clan moving in to take control. We have to stop them. I will. You cannot do it alone. When my uncle hears of this, mm -hmm. he will not rest until the traitors pay for what they did. Help me, and we will bring down everyone who hurt you. Together. When you need help rescuing your uncle, I will be there. Thank you, Lady Masako. Until that time, I have work to do. Alright, excellent timing. Right on time to shut this one down at nine. I do enjoy this game. <laughs> there we go. It's a great way to end it right there. <laughs> Alright, man, that's it for me. Uh let's see, today is Monday. That means uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, at 8 a.m. Mountain Time on the 8-Bit Terror channel, she's going to be playing some Tomb Raider 3 Remastered. I think she's on to the third episode of that one, uh, third entry into that series, the remaster. 
Uh, so that'll be 8 a.m. tomorrow morning on the 8-Bit Terror channel. And then Wednesday evening, you guys will see me back for at least one more session of Ghost of Tsushima uh, New Game Plus here uh, on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. No, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And then uh, Claire will be doing that uh, Tomb Raider till she finishes it. I'm not sure. I guess that'll be the rest of this week. Because uh, then Friday, I'll be doing Days Gone. And then Monday, uh, Claire and I both start new games. Monday, 8-Bit Terror will be playing Rise of the Ronin on her channel. Hope this kind of helps set the mood for that. And then on Monday, I will be playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. We're pretty much just kind of killing time, filling in the interim here until we uh, start the new games next week. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got, man. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me while we take another look at Ghost of Tsushima here. And that's it, man. I will see y'all. Guess I'll see y'all real soon. Good night, everybody.